Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the contract called Restoring the Water Tower 4. So for this contract we need consumables and two metal rolls. And we grabbed a metal rolls and a metal beams because this is how you craft consumables. Well, this plus long planks. So, believe it or not, this is actually going to be a longer video. <laughs> so the plan is, we're bringing these over to the crafting station over there, or whatever it's called, a crafting point, or I, I honestly don't even know. But we had this F750 up here sort of just to check what's in the warehouses. And this trailer had small pipes just down the road and I actually left it there for quite a while and I just I thought about it I'm like I need three cargo and the truck and the trailer would be three so let's do that so that's kind of what we're going with and then uh, once we get these three we're gonna switch to the other map we have a Taiga 6436 waiting at the lumber mill and then we can grab long planks drive that all the way back here to the crafting point and that's the three materials that we need to craft consumables and then we're going to take the consumables bring those well i'm going to bring the trailer with us part of the way there but we're going to take the consumables and bring that all the way to the other map and it needs to go into the bottom left corner of that map so i'm trying to think do i want to go through this gateway or the far gateway I think I'll go through the far gateway. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll go through the far gateway. I, I'm pretty sure. I guess I could change my mind, but that's the plan. Go through the far gateway. And then we'll... I have a pike waiting there. And we'll take the... Uh, let's get this delivered here quick. Um, unload metal beams and metal rolls. And then here, if we go back into the crafting thing, you can see we need metal beams, metal rolls, and long planks. All right, so what I was saying was, once we get to the pike that we have waiting on the other side of the gateway at the first warehouse. Oh, I, I'm gonna take uh, the, sh the shortcut that I took last time as well, but I found a slightly better route. So once we get to that pike, we're going to offload the consumables and we're going to grab two uh, metal rolls from that warehouse and that's going to be the three things that we need, the two metal rolls and the consumables. So we'll just take it from the pike at that point and that should, uh, should be uh, pretty straightforward. I mean we'll, we'll have three slots of cargo but it's not, it's not like, uh, what am I trying to say? It's it's not like overloaded or anything like we can do three slots. That's fine but Yeah, that is my new shortcut ten times faster than trying to drive through this little swampy area Basically just drive through the trees until you find a spot that oh, oof, that was close drive through the trees until you find a spot that uh, I mean just you can see it from the road so yeah, just Drive, drive through the trees till you get to the lumber mill or other way around. Drive from the lumber mill through the trees, whatever openings you can see. Um, the more straight, the better. If you go to the right, that's when you go towards the swampy area. So I do have a crane on here. And actually, I drove this truck out to use it for a different mission. Uh, I was going to use this for uh, timber to the locals too. Ooh, 30. Dang. But I decided that I wanted to to do this mission because I had the trucks ready for this one as well and I'm like I'm gonna forget which trucks were there for what mission if I don't do this so this is again one of those things where it's like I, I bring out a whole bunch of trucks to the, the places and then if I don't do them then I forget what goes to what so yep we're gonna do this one timber to the locals could be next um, I got two other ones wait is this I'm trying to think. I know for sure I got one other one ready. I think I got two ready. And, uh, 
Yeah, once we do this, we can use the trailer again for the timber for the locals. Ooh. And I think we have to use it again for another one that I can't think of the name of, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll get our money's worth out of the trailers. This should be... If I was smart, I probably would have brought two of these blanks, because obviously we need another one for uh, restoring the Water Tower 3. I don't know why I did four, actually. But whatever, I guess that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get people confused. Like, start like complete parts of missions in different videos. I did that before, and yeah, I just don't want to do that. So let's do unload planks. Let's go to crafting, and let's craft... Wait, not pick up. Crafting. Craft consumables. And let me back up quick. Just... <laughs> the F-750's totally trapped. Stop. Change trucks. Let's refuel while we're here. I don't need the Land Rover's fuel. Let's go to pick up consumables. There we go. And as I said, we're going to drive this trailer part of the way back. Yeah, you know what? I'll go this way. I was going to go back to the main road right away, but I think we'll take a little more adventurous route. Not really, but this basically just goes past the water tower just up here. There you can see it. I don't know if I've gone this way yet on my YouTube channel for you guys, so I figured why not. It's not a bad route, and it gives you guys a little better view of, you know, some of the surroundings, so why not? But yeah, we're going to take this trailer back to where we started this video, actually, because, as I said, we're going to need to do the same thing, basically, with water t restoring Water Tower 3, because we will need another Metal Beams and another Consumables, and we have both of those at that warehouse. So we'll probably take the F-750 again, Maybe I'll drive it back, or maybe I'll recover it. Oh, well, maybe I could use... Actually, I'll probably use a different truck. I'll use the Acteon or Crocodile or Warthog next time. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll bring one of those up. We'll grab this uh, trailer. And then we'll run the same route, basically. And once we get the consumables, we'll drive those to the other map. Um... Yeah, we'll get the long planks, bring those back here for the consumables as well. And that one needs three small pipes. So I did check, I have four small pipes on the next map, so I don't know if I'll grab from there or not. I might have them here, I didn't look. But we'll leave the trailer, so actually I don't even, yeah, I do need to grab it. So we'll leave the trailer like right here. Close enough. I was just about to turn left there, but I'm like, no, I don't need to go that way. I said we're going through the other gateway, which we will, but we're going to take the, the way that I've been going recently, which is the furthest north crossing. It just seems to be the best one. Turn off the uh, all-wheel drive for a little while here. Just con conserve on gas. Or fuel. Whatever you call it. I don't know how much we got. What, 100? Looks like. 100 extra on the roof rack. And using 7.2 per minute we're, should be plenty good. Alright, here we are. Off-road. So I did turn through here before. And it does... It doesn't really slow you down too much. It might make it easier if you have a big long trailer. Oh, unless you hit the tree. Oh, I didn't didn't back up enough. I just barely backed up. I thought it might be enough to squeak past, but nope. And then, yeah, I did try this route. If not even, I don't even, I wouldn't even call it a route. But just going up these rocks instead of going through the water. Basically off-roading on the off-road part, you know, like <laughs> taking it to the extreme. And, uh, yeah, that's not, not a bad, I, I don't know if you call it a shortcut or not, but whatever you want to call it. Whoa. But yeah, if you guys don't know, um, at least right now as I'm recording this, whoa. 
you still cannot, well, I guess I haven't tested it today, but you cannot bring water from one map to another map in a, what is it called, water fuel care? No, why did I say fuel? Water, what is it called, water, water carrier trailer or heavy water carrier trailer. So basically the semi trailer or the normal trailer of water. If you bring either one of those to another map with water in it, your water will instantly be gone. If you have it in your truck, in the fire tank, it will still be there. So you either need to drive it a bunch of trucks up there that have it in, in the actual truck, or you need to re repair the, uh, or restore, I guess, the water towers on that map and bring the fuel, or oh, I keep saying fuel, bring the water trailers to those water towers and then fuel, or, God, I said it again, and then water, I was going to say fuel up, but water up, I guess, from there. I just, I can't believe how many times I just screwed up saying fuel trailer and water trailer, you know, whatever. What is that pickup location? Is there another warehouse over there? I'm confused. I... I am super confused. Is there more than just metal beams now? At these, at those locations? I thought those just had metal beams. It looks like you... Oh, maybe you can take, pick them up and bring them to the crafting point. That's what it's telling me. I could be wrong on that. I'm not really sure. But I, I'm, I think maybe the game is like, Hey, for consumables, you need metal beams. These are metal beams. I probably didn't need to go this way, but whatever. This is the, the route that I like to go now. I don't know if it's any faster than following the actual road, but it just seems like it's... I mean, it's, it's probably longer because it's more out of your way. But once you get going, you know, you're you're on pretty solid ground here. You got tar or asphalt for part of it. It probably wasn't, actually, because I took the first road. If I'd have went to the second road, maybe it would have been worth it, but oh well. You guys get a little longer tour of the area, I guess. Yeah, I don't think this video is actually going to be as long as I thought because we are almost to the gateway. It's just up this road to the right and then it's it's all the way to our right, which did, hasn't popped up yet, but we're almost there. And once we go through the gateway, the warehouse that we're going to stop at with the metal rolls and the pike is just, you know, straight in front of us a little ways. And then from there, we just basically got to turn to the left not too far. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone to this water tower now that I think about it. Because when I played on PTS I did one or two water missions but I only did them on the first map. So i never been to this water area here on the second map. Oh, it's weird the gateway didn't pop up. Maybe because it's still trying to figure out like you need different materials before you can go through. I will set it back to 1300 so it's nice and bright again. But yeah, we'll, it shouldn't be too much longer. Probably just a couple more minutes. Alright, here we are. I will show you guys on the map, once we get to the pike up here, all the locations we went to, um, to show you guys where we got what materials and whatever. So We'll pop back and forth between maps a little bit. But yeah, here's the pike we got. and. I think we're going to take a different route to this water tower than probably everybody else. So alright, I'll show, oh, show you guys the map here quick. Okay, so here is the lumber mill, or I guess it's called sawmill. And we just turned out and cut through these trees onto the road and down into the gateway. 
And then when we just came in, we came through this gateway, went to this warehouse. My plan is to go down this way and just follow the shoreline. And there is a path through here. You can kind of see it. And then it looks like we can turn right and go up the hill. Oh wait, that's the watchtower. Water tower's over here. Okay. So maybe... I feel like that's still probably faster than weaving up this mountain and down. Hmm. No, it's probably better to take the roads. Okay, we'll take the normal roads. I think we'll go up this way. And once we get to here, we'll turn left, and then we'll turn left here. And this goes around through it. Actually, I did go past this on PTS now that I see it. All right, now we're back on the first map. This is where we started out at this warehouse. We picked up our stuff, went onto this road, and we brought the metal beams and metal rolls here. And then we came out of this warehouse. We went this way to give you guys a little, little different route. Across here, this is where we dropped the trailer. Then we went up all the way right before this truck and turned through here and down. Followed this all the way across. Then right here we turned, went up to the tracks, followed that, went down here, and through to the gateway over here. All right, we'll turn this on. We'll uh, get our crane out, we'll unpack. Then let's change trucks here. Actually, I don't need the truck on, do I? Let's uh, refuel from the F750 to the Pike. Change trucks to the Pike. Let's get both of our metal rolls. There we go. And we'll start this truck up. We'll get this crane going. Grab our consumables. Let's roll forward a little bit. There we go. And we'll just try and rotate it a little bit. See if we can uh, get it to somewhat look nice on there. I think when we put it down, it should fall kind of right into the middle. And that'll be perfect. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I gotta go back a little bit. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. That should stay in there. That's awesome. Alright. Back on our way. We got like, uh, I don't know, 70% done now? Uh, with this contract. Not with the phase, we're like 50... Man, I don't even know, 54 maybe? By the way guys, on my way down, I actually went down that big steep hill over there. I wanted to see if it's like viable. You, there is a decent path up. Um, if you have anything overloaded like this even, I probably wouldn't do it. But if you have a packed truck with just two cargo or one cargo, like a metal beams or something, you might be able to do it. Again, I went down, not up, so it's a little bit easier. But it, it, I mean, there's kind of like one patch of grass that goes all the way down. Again, I don't know if it'd be easier to go, or if it'd be harder to go up. You can kind of see, I, I just went down right here, down this grass. So you might be able to do that same thing with going up, but I don't know, there's not much trees, so it might not be a, a great option. I just wanted to try it, so... Yeah, this pike was actually at the mine. Um, what did we use? Oh, we, we used, actually we used this pike right down there. We used it to pick up the concrete slabs or cement slabs, I forget which one it was. And then uh, we delivered those to the mine. So after we did that, we drove it from the mine back to the same spot, pretty much, to the warehouse. All right, we got to take a left up here, and then we got to take another left in a little bit. So here we are. Here's our left. And just up here a little ways, we have to take another one. Which I don't really... Oh, wait! Yeah, this is the one that goes... Yeah, I know where this is now. Sorry guys, I'm, sometimes I get 
a little bit lost in my own thoughts. Yeah, this is the one that goes right past the watchtower. I don't know how I didn't know this road was here for some reason. I drove past it many times. So this is the other left that I had to take. Or, I guess I don't have to take, but the water tower is just down there. Alright. Yeah, I could probably even get this watchtower. I still haven't got it. I've, I've been, been really, really bad this phase with stuff that I normally do. I just haven't done it. I've been behind. Like, all the videos are later than normal. I didn't go out and scout the entire map like I normally do. I didn't get all the watchtowers like I normally do. But, oh well. There's the last one. I haven't got that one yet. Jeez, this is some pretty thick mud here. There we go. It looks like it's quite downhill. Oh, there it is. We can see it. Alright. I'll be happy to have this water tower up. Just because I was kind of dreading this one because I'm like, man, I gotta go here and grab this and do that. And... But it really wasn't that bad. It takes a while to bring out all the trucks. Like, you know, this video is only, I don't know, 25 minutes maybe? But it probably took twice that. It probably took me not twice, but like, you know, 25 minutes plus the 25 minutes of recording to bring the trucks out to these places just to record the 25 minutes, so. Alright, let's get this delivered. Metal rolls, metal rolls, and pack, and consumables. There we go. Oop. Alright, 500 experience, 4,500 for money. And we got ourselves a water station. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. And I would greatly appreciate your help in doing that. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys will like content that I've made in the past and content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.